Well, hey everyone, Will Hinkey here from Red Canoe Media. So, uh, congratulations on getting your SSL certificate installed. There are a couple last steps that you need to do. So, the first thing you need to do is visit your Google Analytics page, and typically you'll get a home page or a dashboard that looks something like this. So, what I need you to do is go up to the top where it says Admin. Click on the Admin, and then you'll see three columns worth of stuff, and the one that you need to be concerned about is the middle column. The first option there should be Property Settings. If you click on that, then what you need to do is right here under Default URL, change that to HTTPS because your site is now secure. And then you can scroll down and hit the Save button. That will get you set up for, uh, for, for analytics to start tracking your secure data on that site. The second thing you need to do is visit uh, Google Webmaster Tools and you go to google.com slash webmasters that will get you theirs. Now, now I have a bunch of different properties in there but you might only have one or two so we're going to look at the swimstl.com website today of course you will substitute yours in there. So uh, right now in Webmaster Tools I have both versions of my website in Webmaster Tools. I have it with the W's and without the W's which is the way you were supposed to do it. So now what you need to do since you have an SSL added is up at the top right hand corner it says add a property. We're going to click that and then we're going to put in everything with the HTTPS in it. So HTTPS colon slash slash www.swimstl.com and I'm going to hit continue and you'll notice I put the www in there. So now it's going to want me to verify. There's a couple different ways to verify. Uh, typically the one that they recommend is the one that's going to work. So I'm, I'm going to hit that, but first I'm going to show you the alternate methods. If I hit verify and it says this didn't work, then what you can do is go to the alternate methods. And typically I would start with the Google Analytics and try that. Typically one of those two ends up working for you. So I'm going to go back and hit this uh, method here. Okay, it failed. So I'm going to try alternate and I'm going to try analytics. And we'll see that that verified just fine. It took me back to my dashboard for that particular domain. And now both things are set up correctly just the way that we need them to be set up so that Google knows everything about our new HTTPS website. Thanks. Have a great day.